weird bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and Divide and Conquer version 5, and our Easterlings of Rune campaign. First of all, an announcement. In uh, re-watching -re my last video, I saw or realized that the sound from the game was a bit high in comparison to uh, the sound of my voice, so I've been lowering that sound just a smidge, and now I also have the mic a bit closer to my person. So I'm um, sorry if I blast a couple of eardrums or something like that, but I'm trying to calibrate just a little bit to make it better for you to experience. In the last episode, we wiped out Darwinian and took massive casualties in the process, but we uh, gave that region to uh, Dol Guldur, trying to make them a bit stronger because uh, they appear bankrupt basically all the freaking time. Still bankrupt, and I don't even think I could get like 1k for that settlement, so I just give them a bunch of stuff. All right. No, that's our wealth. Okay. Um, yeah, so I hope they're gonna get stronger because I've given them quite a few settlements, but now I will be moving my army. First of all, I wanted to get retrained, if possible. Doesn't look like I will be able to do that in Viltur, though, most likely because the culture is too bad. But we're working on it, and also the meeting hall, barracks, we need to build some stuff. But we're working on it, getting there. And uh, we've also reached... So, I mean, we are sending reinforcements up to the Dale region all the time. Thinking about moving my general in here to make it um, a bit happier. But I also think it's a good idea to leave him in Esgaroth. So I think that's where we're going to leave him. But you can see here, Erebor have sent Gimli to the borders of Dale. I think that he shouldn't be moving to Eskaroth because it's the Dale region that's closest. Um, so let's hope not. And Dale also has an army close to Erebor for some reason, but Erebor has a great, uh, has a decent garrison. So I'm thinking that Dale will be suffering a whole shit ton of fighting quite soon, as soon as they have massed up. But I think Dale is down on their last three regions. I'm not sure, though. They are weak overall, military production down to zero, because we are also, we have been blockading their ports for a long time as well. Territorial ranking, right, they are at three. So if I take one more region from Dale, I will be triggering a doom stack. And I think I want to weaken Erebor a little bit more before I do that. I might still take a couple of confrontations here and, here and there with Dale, but I will not be taking any settlements just yet, because first of all, I'm pretty scared of the dwarves. Speaking of dwarves, we have an almost full stack, sieging Kirigathal, which is a really important settlement for Erebor. Kirigathal is one of those, I think at least, that it's one of those big dwarven, uh, like, Fundamental settlements that if you have too many of them, like Thorin's Halls, uh, I think maybe Mount Gundabad, Kirikathol, Erebor, etc., then uh, the dwarves will like rise up and they will be all mad and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's still on the way. We need to take Kirikathol and Erebor, and that's on the to do list for today. They have a pretty small garrison and they will only be getting one garrison unit. Or one militia garrison. Also, I don't think with these mountains that they have any towers or anything like that. But that's something that we'll have to uh, find out. That's for us to find out. We used this army to kill off one of the faction heirs as well. Just outside of Kitty Castle. And we got to use the Udeg Marines. And they were cool throwing bombs and stuff. Although I do not want to throw them into friendly fire or anything like that. And another thing that I've been thinking about that I really need to um, get a look at or try to focus on or plan for is that I need units that are good against armor, like Adula Dragon Guard, because dwarves are basically just packets of armor, super, super strong. But they don't have a lot of mounts, unless they have uh, Dale Cavalry. So it looks like we will have to do a shit ton of Adolad Dragon Guard, because you are not good against armor. Uh, you're not. You are not. 
You are, which is great, but I won't be able to make that many of you. And you are not. You are not. Right. So it looks like Adula Dragon Guard is going to be what we will be fighting the dwarves with. Although we won't be recruiting any more of that now. Can Are you good against armor? No, you're not. You should be. Right. So crossbows and Adula Dragon Guard and Privateer uh, Axemen. That's what we're going to use against Dale. Now, I think I have all of the uh, siege equipment that I need. I don't know if I'll actually need the siege tower, but that's for us to find out. Now, quick save, and then uh, let's move in on Kirikathal, and hopefully that will be a super easy battle where we won't suffer any casualties whatsoever. Still. Dwarven defenders, they can make shield wall, excellent stamina, not good against armor or anything like that though. 10 attacks, so they are stronger than our Adela Dragon Guard in damage. Charge bonus for 16 defense, they have shields and everything, so these are pretty strong. However, I will be focusing my arrow fire on the Maddoxes, because they have no shield. 7 armor. Which is less than the Dwarven Defenders. And you have regular uh, Durin's Guard. Look at this. 32 defense. That's so high. And I don't have any crossbows. But you will be fo will you will be used in killing the Durin's Guard. Most likely. Or hopefully that will be enough. Enough chit-chatting. Let's kill Kazador and take Kirigatl. Just jinxed it. Just jinxed the crap out of it. Speaking of crap... Hope you're all having a good day, that you're enjoying whatever you uh, endeavor for today. Or if not, if you're just having a shitty day, hope uh, this can uh, give you some enjoyment. And sometimes some days are just so far beyond saving that it's just go to sleep, wake up tomorrow with the fresh energy. Ooh, that was actually a pretty good speech. I'm so sorry. I wish they had been a bit more worthy of your swords. These aren't... Oh, frack. These are towers. Although, I wonder if... They must be only activated if uh, they have units up on these walls. Which they shouldn't have, because they don't have any ranged. However, this is going to be where all the fighting takes place, most likely. I wonder. It would be so fun if the siege towers actually can attack these sites... I give that a shot. So we have Arulad uh, Dragon Guard on both. I think I would rather have to use you in the opening, to be honest. So great that they are effective against armor. I will be just cramming out a shit ton of those. Right, and you drop that. Drop it. And then you can grab it. You on the left, you on the right. And just need to get some kind of control over all of my throwers. I don't want you to fire at will, especially not you with the bombs. I would rather just be able to throw these in the backs of the Durin's Guard or anything like that. That would be great. Now, Rangers or uh, Archers, very few of those. And cavalry don't actually plan on need that much, to be honest. General, one thing that I'm not a big fan of, don't want to be too pessimistic, but I'm not a big fan of the fact that, um, that so few generals have any unique abilities. Most of them just have the horn. Just have the horn. And you drop that, because I actually think that it's better if the Adola Dragon Guard... As the ram, because they will be first through the breach. So, this is what we're gonna do. There, there. Three units of Adela Dragon Guard. Right. Enough stalling. Let's get in on it. And yeah, they actually do man the towers, but it, they should be starting to run back. No, they're not. Hot ah, damn. So, run back. Run back. Can you attack? Yes, you can. Oof. 
And they have ballista towers as well, it seems. I need for them to start running back. Iron Hill Maddox is on both sides. And they are actually sallying out. So drop, drop, drop. Then... Run back. Please. Then ranged units. You should run up together with these. Why not? Oh, and now they pulled back. God damn. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Okay. New plan. New plan. You spread out. Run up and take the ram. And you... You take that. You take that. And just uh, close my eyes. Because we are going to take massive amounts of casualties. So just close my eyes while we get hit by uh, the towers. And now... The Maddoxes are leaving uh, the gates or the walls. But now they're coming back on that side. Dude, make up your mind. Stop playing games with me. Just make up your mind. Uh, 2%, 2%, 7%. Hopefully they won't be lighting anything on fire. Men have reached the gate with the battering ram. And they are coming back there. Okay. So the Adela Dragon Guard. The siege towers have reached the walls. Will really uh, need to do some great job. We need to do some damage on the walls. It looks like they're actually running back, which is just swell. Let's see. And the towers should, according to my calculations, stop shooting quite soon. There we go. You run up, run up, run up. And run up. How many times can I say run up? You walk up. You walk up. Actually run. Okay, and you are ready. You are up there. And this is gonna be pretty awkward, most likely. Oh, right. Looks like everyone can just charge in. Beautiful map, actually. So, run. How, how big of a line do I have? Jesus. Okay, just uh, just spears then, please. Okay. There we go. Then you in. You as well. And everyone, everyone, everyone. Never seen the inside of Kitty Castle before, even though I uh, have played as the dwarves of Erebor. Never fought. Um, never fought here. Here we go. Run over. Run over. They're gonna be pretty tired, most likely. At least they will be warmed up. Cavalry might be a good idea to have them uh, just in case. We need to do some quick uh, running down. And, ooh, is this Durin's guard? Yes, it is. So I plan on sending my uh, Udeg Marines over to throw some stuff at them. It's going to be so much fun. I mean, if they're going to just stand there. You. Move up. Now we'll need just a smidge ready here. Two. Widen out, spread out. You may get ready to start throwing some stuff as well. Javelins. Ammo. Ooh, they have really short range. This can't be right. Here we go. This should be beautiful. 
Oh, they have their crossbow sounds. 35. Just look at the bombs. 27. I love this unit so far. Most likely I'm gonna say a couple of times, I hate this unit because I'm gonna get some volley off right into the middle of my own lines. But that's not gonna be on them. Most likely it's gonna be on them, but still. Okay, right. You are finito. Now, I would like for you to pull back. And then, we can start sending some javelins to throw. And you... Let's actually have you stop shooting. I'd rather use you on the Maddoxes, to be honest. And these are not effective against armor. I, but I do believe that the javelins should have some kind of bonus. Generally, because they have fewer uh, projectiles. They at least have higher damage. Eight, 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 eight. <laughs> At least we are robbing them of hit points. They look like all of them basically are starting to get bloodied up. So that's good. There we go. And now our armor penetrating boys. Push through, please. And you will be an absolute break glass in case of emergency. Um... Reserve units. You start walking, walking. I want the spears and armor penetrating boys in the absolute front. Our foe fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. And blow the horn because it's fun. We also have already plowed through half of uh, the timer on this battle. Which is not great, mind you. It's not great. I can't imagine. I don't know where all the time went. Okay, general is dead. Oh, damn, what happened now? Ah, my god. And you start getting in here. Let's get in there. And also, I would like for the archers to start getting in. And spears... Come on. I think we should just start sending troops in. Don't think the Datatai clansmen will do a lot of do a lot of damage to be honest. So I'll just keep them in the back. You get in as well. Now Maddoxes. Remember I want to focus on them with my archers. There we go, and Maddox. And now we need to slow down just a little bit because I want the Adolat Dragon Riders to be able to intercept them if they decide to start uh, charging at us. 129. I mean, we can't get much better shots off than this. What if... No, you can just stand like you are. No one is lobbing any shots anyway. You. Right there. Right there. Okay, let's just see. Do you have any good charge bonus? Four. Six. Okay. I don't have any good charge bonuses. So I guess... Okay, you are all just stuck, aren't you? Okay, that unit is stuck. Like, stuck, stuck. Starting to bring down the Maddoxes. But we don't have infinite amount of time left. Which is worth taking into consideration. 97... 87. Wow. Really chiseling them down a lot quicker than the Maddoxes. Huh. 
Even though they have shield and armor, that's not that much worse than the Maddoxes. There we go, and now you keep shooting. Maybe we should show some love for these Maddoxes in the back as well. Okay, you're actually getting some kills. Why couldn't it... Why didn't we get more kills? That unit. Okay. That's it. And... All of you will just charge like absolute madmen. Charge. Go. You right there. Okay. <laughs> well, you've seen this before most likely that... When I'm close to winning, I'm much more strategic than I am uh, when I have, like, when it's really close. Right. You, you, attack, 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 and attack. And now it's just... Playing with the wait and see. Victory is well with Two percent. In time, our foe will surely be and lose heart. Four. Still four. Four. Victory is ours. Is victory and healed down to three. That's great. We lost ninety-three units. Otherwise. We killed four four four. Even number and MVP. Is the Baroon Hunters most likely? Yeah, 128. That's great work. And also absolutely worth noting that the Mariners, 41 kills. And all of those are uh, General's Bodyguard or Durin's Guard, which is just amazing. I want more of those. So Kirikathal is ours. Now I'm hoping that I won't get any of those Doomsday messages. That uh, Kirikathal has been taken. The dwarves are going to war. Yad Allah Badaha. Really hope I can avoid that. But we also killed the general. That's great stuff. And just sack this settlement. I think that should be enough. Uh, we Ooh, uh, most likely it's just a bunch of armor we can give them. What kind of armor? Mining complex. Oh, right. You have mines. Practice range, armor. Right, you do have an arm. We can also get so much good trading here. But let's just start with retraining some of our units for armor. Start with the uh, melee ones and go for the trashily trashy boys. Right, that's it. You can. Oh, we actually got all of those towers now that we captured it. And the judge. Okay, okay, okay. We also have this settlement. Garn. You get two units of defenders. You have no ranged units whatsoever. But I don't have a lot of good ranged. They have the King's Axis. They have King's Warriors. But they have no walls. Look at this. I don't have that much infantry. I only have two units that are effective against armor. Ugh. Pretty scary, actually, now that I looked at my army. Sure, it's a full stack, but they have armor. I don't. I guess we're just going to have to focus our archers on the defenders, the uh, laborers, and also on the axes. Anyone that doesn't have a shield should get whacked. Enemy army routes. Did we get some new trade increase? Gazandu, Conqueror of Kirikathal, got the trait, Conqueror of Kirikathal. Plus troop morale, plus command, attacking walls, and plus one acumen. That's just great. But now I want to take Skarn because I want this to be a bit more, a bit safer. And I also don't want Captain Onar to uh, come in and reinforce them. Let's go. Let's just have fun with it, like we normally say. Because... Um, with my self-esteem, I'm not sure that I'll be able to win this. The general is better. They have a lot of armor. We have a lot of ranged units, sure, but Moles is just tier 1 trash, which we really need to uh, replace with better units as soon as possible. 
And last episode, I do believe we put, uh, or the last couple of episodes actually, we've been investing pretty heavily in, in military buildings. But, it's not that... Oh, we have a bunch of archers that's gonna be really fun put up there on the hill. Uh, it takes so long to get to the good levels of barracks, and in the meantime, of course, really important to. It's really important to have um, a good economy, real balance. That I'm not uh, that that I haven't really figured out how to balance or how to work yet. Cool. There we have our infantry, general, just basic uh, lokerim bodyguard. And just some basic cavalry that I don't think we'll be needing. Start the battle. And first of all, all of you, no skirmish mode. No skirmish mode. And what do we have there? Dwarven laborers. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm thinking that you be a lot of fun if we can send you up here. And we would also need some kind of defense for you guys. So let's send some Faru mercenaries up. I think this should be uh, good ish. And you might be more fun if we use you here in the front lines. Finally made it back to the front line. You will be throwing if anyone gets close enough and I want to start off with uh, the pike or spear units, which actually have some kind of defensive capabilities. You have 13, which is okay. You have 11, 9, so you're not bad in defense either, but you have no shield. Most of it comes from defense skill. Same here. Hot damn. Okay. Right, 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 right. Bodyguard. Do I want you here on the back just in case we can circle you around something? Get into position. Look at the balance of power. It's not that clearly in our favor. Actually, I'd rather use you for the general, to be honest. Start shooting at the laborers. And you? How can I position you? There. And fire at will. You. There. Fire at will. And you. Hmm. Let's just have you shield for a while. Actually, maybe you can stand right here. Here and fire at will. Or will. What has he done? There you go. And fire at will. There we go. And we are shizzling down the dwarven laborers quite efficiently. King's warriors would be nice to kill because those thro guys throw axes, which are quite effective against um well any of my units basically you run up here please there we go now the king's axes are moving but the king's axes don't have shields they just have a ridiculous amount of armor they aren't attacking let's move up just a snidge same thing with you you up and same thing with you. Now, hopefully, we should just be able to unload our quivers on these guys. But it looks like we're shooting a hell of a lot in the ground right now. Not a big fan of that strategy. So far, we've killed 25% hot. Dang. That's pretty good. But now the angles are going to get really weird. Right, you keep focusing on the king's axis. Maybe you can focus on them as well. And you. King 
warriors. They have shields and ridiculous armor. So I think maybe the dwarven defenders would be better. Or, yeah, just shoot here in the middle. Whoever want to take it, I will take it. I will take the arrow to the face. Dwarven laborers, Erebor infantry. Getting really close. Close enough for us to start lobbing javelins at you. There you go. Told you. Shouldn't have gone too close. Maybe one volley of crossbow would be nice. Come on. Take the L. Pull back. Okay. Run in. Run in. Run back. You attack them as well. Both of these archers. We are winning the battle. Yeah, we are running out of arrows. Oh damn. Now everyone starts running in. And we get a bunch of javelins off on the Dwarven Defenders, I wonder. Looks like we can, yes. And they are dealing damage as well, hot dang. Right, now, stop shooting. You intercept them. You attack them. And... Where are you right now? Right. I think you'd rather shoot at the Durin's guard right now. And let's see if we can get the crossbows up here. We should. Should be able to get them up. Blow the horn because it looks like the dragon guard is starting to get a little bit panicky. Run up here. Right. What's happening here? Maybe could we try to throw? Looks like you could get in a pretty decent position up here. No, actually, don't throw, don't throw, pull back, you pull back, now, send some of our infantry up here to help out. There, should be able to get some pretty decent throws off at them, actually. 38. Oh, look at this. Dropping like lies. Great. And now, how's it going for the crossbow? You're on your way. You are out of ammunition, so you can pull back. Now I want for you to get this ridiculously good shots off at the king's warriors. Where is the general? Right there is the guard. And we killed them. You are out of ammunition, so you can start pulling back as well. You, all of you lads, and walk down here. I wonder which units should be dealing the most damage. The, uh, the Durin's Guard or the King's Warriors. King's Warriors have the axes. I don't want to fight those to be. So, we still have a decent amount of time, fortunately. So, run to this position and then just unload on the um, axis. We have you. Still have ammunition. Walk you up and have you start shooting at the... Um, or throwing, rather. At the Erebor infantry. Mustn't forget the Dwarven defenders, though. You can get a couple of volleys as well. Just because you're so damn nice like to get any good shots off here they start at 97 let's see what one volley gives us remember heavy armor shields okay that's decent you can uh, keep shooting at them give you my blessing you start pulling back and we fortunately fought you with the balkal spearman 
You are out of ammunition. And you... Right. You can actually attack them from the side. You're getting some good shots off at the infantry, which is just great. Great. So far, we've lost 7%. Killed 79. That's actually pretty darn good. All of you... That are out of ammunition. I want to pull back. Maybe run up the general. Or... How's it going over here? Oh, what? No, King's Wood. Oh, damn. We are going to work on these boys. Okay, maybe now. Where is the general? Oh, right. Right there. But our uh, foreign mercenaries, they are taking casualties. But they are good against armor. So, it would hopefully be pretty efficient. Now I want to see if the crossbows can deal a, a couple of uh, devastating volleys to the back of them. King's Warriors. Who has the best range, I wonder? Actually, we're not still not done with the Erebor Warriors. So you attack them. You attack them. Okay, and here they come. Here they come. No, don't want to send you in. And of course we're gonna... Oh, damn, they're absolutely butchering the uh, foreign mercenaries. And they will have no problem whatsoever killing... Killing um, the Daddy Tai clansmen. Please run. There we go. And start shooting at the back of the Dudin's guard. If any one of you can deal damage to, uh, if anyone can deal damage to the bodyguard, it should be you. If you can just start shooting, please. Ah, damn. You start moving in towards the square. And please start shooting. There we go. 28... Still 28, 27. And we're just killing our own clansmen. So, any one of the Durin's Guard that we can kill is a good day. We are winning the battle. Get into a better position, please. And keep shooting. 10. Okay, you can just keep shooting. Hopefully you'll kill a bunch of the Deritai... Uh, not a bunch of the Deritai clansmen. But a bunch of the Durin's bodyguard. And we'll actually have to throw in some of our Balkov tribesmen. Now we're starting to lose troops like crazy. There we go. I don't think the Balkov spearmen actually are absolutely abysmal in, um, in melee, to be honest. Oh, they absolutely are. Three melee damage. Ah, damn, that's not good. I think actually that our archers are better. No two melee damage. Ah. Well, fortunately, they can be easily retrained. How's it going over here? Oh. Now it's just a general left. Do I want to send some Belkoth over to help to help out? Might as well. This is going to take a while because that dude has armor like it's no one's business. Oh, is he starting to run? Just look at this. Like an absolute gauntlet. There we go. General dead. We lost 29. We healed 7%. Which is okay, I suppose. But we lost so much of our infantry. We need to reinforce that ASAP. 107 to the Daritai crossbowmen. They did so much work. So proud of them. 179 to the Daritai hunters. The tier 1 archers. 100 on Adelaide Dragon Guard. And a lot of our archers didn't do that well, did they? Daritai hunters. 31. 
uh data tie hunters that's the 179 data tie hunters 97 data tie hunters 81 data tie hunters 79 well at least we dealt a lot of damage but look at this buckle spearman 161 outer lad dragon guard 138 184 Devertai Clansmen, 21 to uh, Friendly Fire. Did lose some to Friendly Fire, but I think we also killed a lot of Durin's Guard. Which is important. Now that I know that I will need to focus a lot on units that deal damage against the armor, I know that I will have to focus a lot on crossbows as well as on Adolad Dragon Guard. There we go. Skarn is ours. Back to settlement. This is just one of those small itty bitty settlements. So low tax rate. Start with both of you. Hopefully you'll get to grow a little bit. What will you get? Will I actually retrain you? Just tier one stuff. Let's see what happens if I retrain you. And I don't think this captain will attack us, but he does. We're gonna have to use our arrows. There we go. We are broke. But we are sending a lot of really good armies or soldiers north. Look at this. A lot of armor penetrating. You should be good against armor as well. Loki Flagrim. And you're only good against mounts. Really long spears. Right. First uh, first turn. And already taken two settlements. How marvelous. Let's end the turn. See what's going on next. Moving some diplomats, etc. North Bur Alj, you should start to be happier soon. When the devastation Perhaps settles. Could sort our differences. Uh, actually, uh, I don't mind a ceasefire with you. Because I don't want to take any more settlements from you just yet. Let's make a counteroffer. They're bankrupt. Yeah, and you will make me a single payment. Oh, 500. Very generous. No, we cannot agree really? to another worthy proposal then. These five and trade rights? How could we refuse ah. an honor and a pleasure? Farewell. Oh, I, maybe I'll make more money just keeping uh, blo keep blockading their ports, to be honest. Hmm. Might be a dumb idea. But like I said, I don't want to prioritize Dale right now because, because as you can see on the minimap, they have such a Merchants Guild at Bural, yes please. They have such a small area right now. We've taken their... Uh, as Garoth, we've taken Dale. They just have some small Bur uh, Kaupis and... Two other little settlements here. That's all they have left. So I don't really mind peace with them uh, for now. We'll just have to try to take advantage of the situation, getting some good, uh, some better visibility. And now you should be going back to Burmarlinge. Let's check out and turn report. Made a lot of profits of 4.4k and income of 58,000. That's beautiful. A lot of green. We're number one in production. Mordor is strong. Awesome to see. Most advanced faction announcement. A lot of trade increases, retinue expansions, retinue expansions, retinue expansions. Look at this. We're getting so many retinues, which is great. And we also got started building a lot of things, or finished building a lot of things rather. As got off, you got the Master Mason's Hall now, which is great. Now I'm thinking that a Mason's Guild House might be just as well. To start going with um, with that, because we have a lot of things I want to buy, I want to build here. Let's start with that and we train a whole bunch of units and we um, train another spy as well, which is great. If we increase the tax rate, just as actually makes us a little bit of money, and they won't be pissed at us. And I don't think we need to worry about growing this anymore either. Doesn't even look like we can grow it anymore. So, keep it as is. And Viltur, you got the meeting hall. Does that mean you start training some tier 1s? I think after the dirt paths, I would like a little tanner. 
Mule farming and then the Master Masons. And Booty Island, you got the Dark Sanctuary. Now we're going to the Master Masons Hall. You are getting so pissy. What's up with that? The culture should start, should start working itself out now. 75% unrest due to that. But I think it should work with the Dark Sanctuary. Help out. Might want to consider getting the Dark Shrine afterwards. Because this is close to the north. We want it to be happy and to grow and prosper. And the build tool, you got the meat hole. You're just building a whole bunch of stuff. Well, you got the communal farming and so many fun stuff to build. Trade. Trade. And leather worker. What do we have next? Bur Hermanarikis, you got a leather worker, and this is so far south. I don't really feel like this region should be a priority right now, to be honest. But you can make some Adela Dragon Guards, and then we'll just send them north right away. And and Mahad, you got chicken farming going into culture after that. You will get population growth bonus. I think that was why. I'm just clinging on to hope that I will be able to um, grow this settlement someday. And recruitment reports. Strondos, look at this. Some tier 3 units, that's awesome. Escarot, you got a spy and we trained some units. Did you not get any armor? No. And Skarn, you retrained some troops as well. And that actually, you actually filled up. That's awesome to see. So happy about that. So happy. And I think that's it. Eskaroth, you got a spy. Most likely not a really good one. 58% chance that you will be able to get into Erebor. What do... Oh, damn. This army has a Dwarven Ballista. And they are super accurate. We also have some cavalry. Some crappy archers. Some... Decent archers. They are pretty beaten up, though. At least this unit is. And the infantry, etc. But I don't want to fight this on, on the open field. Because the Ballista is super accurate. And they can snipe my general. Right, so I got to take a look at that, and you have actually a pretty strong garrison. These are, of course, effective against armor as well. You can form a field wall. Good units. Good units, good units. Let's just keep the spy around. I would like for you to, if possible, moving up just a little bit from here. You should be able. Okay, you'll you'll still uh, you're still screwed against if Gimli attacks. What if I put you like here? Then you shouldn't be able to be you shouldn't be reached by Gimli, but you should reach Eskarov in the next turn, hopefully. Diplomatic information: uh, Goblins of Moria have broken their alliance with Angmar. Wow, wow, and we are at peace with Dale. Marriage celebrations, great stuff, great stuff. Now. What do I want to do in this turn? We don't have a general around here to um, get some better visibility. That's too bad. Would like to try to get one over there. If I take you out to cover... Oh, you're making a lot of money as well. What if I made just like some clansmen? Keep the peace. Governor's influence 20%. We're already at low tax rate. We just how we're gonna work that one out. Rondost, you can move all of your units onto the boat. And we are losing a bit of money, but we're still gonna have 17k in projected total profits. And now this is a full stack. So I want you to sail up the river. And most likely you will be what's used to um, play seed to, to um, Erebor or something like that. It's going to be a hoot. Urmarlinge, Master Mason's Hall, and I think... I think 
army I serve. Might be ready to rip off your head and quarters. We must end the turn. Your neck. You, you do not have the range to attack this I'll army yet. However, we do have a spy, right? You see what this is. Catapult, Dwarven Ballista, and Axes and Labors. So if we had more cavalry, I mean, we do actually have some cavalry, but we can't reach with the infantry. So if you choose to get any closer, we'll use the cavalry to attack the um, artillery. And then we'll just, I guess, use archers on everything else. Fun stuff, fun stuff. You have room for one more. I'm only here to fight the loot. Right, that's enough. Enough speaking. You should be able to grow soon. Let's end the turn. Moving uh, those remnants towards Viltur. Erebor didn't do anything. High elves, we are so far away from them. So far away from them. But at least now we're taking Skarn. Now it's just one area between Skarn and uh, Kirigathal. So it would be a lot of fun to take that one as well. Okay. If I put you in Viltur right now. To retrain it. Just some basic low tier stuff. And then I guess. Might as well just send. Um, take everyone and start sending them north. Suppose, and build a whole shit ton of towers. Um, on the way. Their turn. Right. Negative one in profits. But we still had a total of 17. Number one in production. Yeah buddy. New family member and even more retinue expansions. Look at that. Taxes income. Plus three farming. Plus five trade. Oh great. I'm so proud of you. So very proud of you. And construction report. Dale, you got a militia garrison. That's awesome. This is going to be a strong place to defend right now. Great stuff. Do we want to take... I think I want to take the time for a Master Mason's Hall before building anything else. Because this settlement can be insanely rich eventually. So I will need to build a whole bunch of stuff. Ilanin, you got the leather worker going straight into communal farming. That's baller. Strondos, you got the blacksmith. And now I guess we should just start building... Better uh, military buildings here. Yep, right. Let's actually get that um, to increase the trade just a smidge. With a smidge, I mean really freaking little. This can't be right. Increase the population boom. This can't be right. Anyway, might as well start going with the ship right. And now, since I realized that crossbows are pretty good. I will want to build them in uh, a lot of... Ooh. Buying myself another general. Buying some armor penetration. Buying even more armor penetration. Great. Now, let's take a small, small break in uh, recruiting. You. Moving towards Garn. I take the general out without them being pissy. I actually can. He is making me quite a bit of money there, though. So you get out there and build a tower, please. And then start moving back to Skarn. You keep moving up. Actually, I will be putting some units in this army that should be good against this little dwarven whatchamacallit. Some armor penetration as well, because you can't attack Skarn anyway. You can reach it just just uh, barely. And then... Oh, right. And then I want you to start moving on them. But it's gonna take a while. Recruitment report. Oh, look at this. Bur Hermanarikis. You got two units of Dragon Guard that I will start moving towards... Uh, this fort, I think. Please. There we go. Start moving towards that fort. Then, we got Karvarad. You got two new units. 
can I take... I don't know why I got a unit of clansmen here, but can I take you out? I actually can. And they can keep the peace. Which is awesome. So you will be uh, getting some towers and move west, I suppose, to Bur Arlji. And that's the only thing that was trained. Everything else just got retrained. So you get here, Tomorrow build a tower. A watch here. Then I think I might want to, to go down there as well the next Move turn. But look at this. They have so he has so few movement yes, points. How may I serve? Noble one. Still, sometimes things will just have to take a while. Yes, noble master. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. And boat. Orders. Keep failing. Our winds shall be fair. Keep moving up towards Dale, please. And you... We'll need to send them one at a time. Because I think all of them can be merged up. Look at that planning, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll just keep retraining everything we got here. And this Dwarven army is just getting stronger by the minute. But I do rather want to push them into... Into... Um, attacking me. Now I'm thinking. It would be a fun idea to throw in this army into this fort. But we would not be able to defend against uh, Gimli. Because that army is strong. So let's... Okay. You can move... Oh, you can actually move... Quite a bit. You cannot move by the tree. So what if I drop the army off here? You'll be they will just be out of reach. Just barely. Let's take one little step more. Now Gimli won't be able to reach. Ah. Huh? Ah, and look at this, they are so depleted. Many of them are so absolutely depleted. Might be just as well to just disband these, actually. But I would like to see if I can retrain them. And which we are not, not with them. But eventually, when we have good enough culture, I believe that we will be able to retrain them. 34. 34. Really, don't we have any... Right, we do have barracks. So it's just a matter of time, I suppose. Right, another new turn, I think. Got a general back to Burmarling. And now Dale decides to act like absolute douchebags. No and what are you going to do? You're laying siege to Dale. Okay, so Dale is gonna be uh, sus subject to uh, subject to uh, siege. Quite a massive one. I think uh, Gimli is going to help out. Oh damn! <clears throat> Mordor is doing some stuff. I believe Erebor actually. Or Erebor, Dale, actually uh, shows to it. Gondor raises an army. Most likely they are really weak now. Candidate for adoption. I already have that portrait. He does not look 18, but sure. Join the family. Noble one. And... At last. Yes, noble master. Right. Orders. You up to that fort... You should be moving up there as well. A whole bunch of armor penetrating boys, which is great. Uh, Burmarlinge is under siege. I don't think I have that much to fight them with, to be honest. If I put you here, because I don't think that's Burmarlinge, you're just a regular town, so you don't really have that good a defense. But with the cavalry, might be a little bit better defense. Do you have anything you can send? 
You actually do. So if I put you right there, maybe you will be helping out as well. Just maybe. Just say maybe. And you are just costing upkeep, Ordovan. Let's move you up as well. And we'll see. If I attack you right now. Then it's pretty even. And I will not get being reinforced by the uh, privateer cavalry. That's too bad. And you have royal guardsmen, which absolutely suck balls. But we're just gonna have to do our best. Just gonna have to do our best. And let's see, what else can we do? Garn, looks like you're gonna be under attack, my man. We attack you with this army, then we have the balance of power in our favor. And if I join you up with a general, I believe that it might be even more in favor of us. And if we get some mercenaries, even more so. That's awesome. So, that's something that we're going to take care of. You start moving north, please. And end of turn report. Spend some money. Number two now in production after Mordor. Most advanced faction. Mordor. Faction announcements. Retinue. Expansion. Cool stuff. Constructions. Just look at all this. Sant Anui. You'll be able to make really good units now. So we'll plow some money into that. And uh, right. Mistran. You got an archery range. Ooh, yes. Loki Narim. Don't mind if I diddly do. Now you should be getting a might as well bazaar money, please. And Skarn, you are starting to work on culture now, which is great. Being a bit cultured. Lord Marlinga got the Master Mason, so now we should be working on economy. You. All right, you're under siege. Might as well wait with that until we are clear. And Vintirion Yor, you got chicken farming going into the ballista here, which is great. And I think that's it. I think that's it. But we would also we also need to start moving our troops a little bit now that we see that Dale is uh but Thing is i don't really want to start uh, fighting dale again Be getting those marines because i don't want to put my focus on that you know mistrand you got more chariots put you in there for free upkeep for now and then we will get ready with another fleet which is going to be strong there we go Bless is moved, Strondost. How may I serve? You get into the fort as well. Elgair. Orders. Hmm. Oh, mm, where do I want you? Is it worth just walking them a whole bunch? It might as well just sit in Elgair to pour free upkeep. And uh, Rubar, right. How may I serve? Right, right, right. You are not free upkeep there, so you might as well just start moving north. Oh, damn. That's a detour and a half. Why can't you just walk here? I don't know. They're not free upkeep anyway, so they might as well just keep on walking. That's Rubar, Karvarad. You got some crossbows. That. I want to join up with this force. Join up with them. How may I serve? And then we got Viltur. You retrained a whole bunch of units. And we cannot retrain any of you anyway. So we are 182. Order. Yes, All of this basically. We should be able to move uh, to move out. And so we shall. At once. Power on the way though. Then start moving. And then, 
What do we have left? Esgaroth, 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 and Dale, and Scarn. A whole bunch of retrained units. So, you guys will join up. And that's going to be just great. Almost a full stack, but some of them just need to... Need some TLC for sure. And then you will start more marching towards the... Um, towards the river. Because we want to... Um, Join you up. And now we can lay siege to their docks again. Because they decided to act like absolute bags. Feels like we should have another dock here somewhere. Maybe not though. Maybe not. No? Okay. So just start moving. Keep moving you south then. This army is going to be so much fun when they reach... Sure. You need to stop being so pissy. They are actually dropping in uh, public order, even though we should be working on the cultural differences. I think that's weird. Really, really weird. My eyes are great. Don't want to get any more troops in there either, to be honest. Let's see what I would deal with this because you might as well just okay. You start moving towards Bur Algier because it's gonna take a while, and you stand there. You join up with them instead. Okay, so now we have a plan. Wrapping up in this episode, we took uh, we took Scarn, and also we took Kirikathol. Looks like a lot of the territories that I've taken will be heavily. Contested quite soon. You need a meeting hall in order to start retraining. Can't believe you don't have one. Most likely, it was destroyed in the uh, in the looting. Right, and we made peace with Dale, and we got back in war with Dale. Just want to try something. Very demanding. They do not want peace. I was thinking if I could do a... Uh, I think it's that... Uh, no. If I can just start fleezing them a little bit. But so, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you watched it this far, this is going to be very interesting in the next episode. It's going to be bloody as hell. And I'm not sure that we're going to make it, to be honest. But we'll just have to do our absolute best. We will be getting a militia garrison as well. So that is going to be the focus on the next episode. And these armies will be able to just march up and keep on keep replenishing. Or reinforce, hopefully. Right. And um, that's it, I believe. Hope you enjoyed watching this episode. Have a great day and I will see you in the next one.